The untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game is missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, I wanted to talk about a big fight that took place earlier in the day in the Super Flyweight division, which featured, you know, WBO Super Flyweight champion Kozudo Ayoka, you know, a guy that is very underrated. You know, he hasn't really gotten the, the credit nor the press he deserves. But if you look at what he's been doing his last couple of fights, I mean, it's better than a lot of guys that, that, that boxing media and that boxing fans hype up. You know, Kazuta Ioka, in this fight today, you know, he fought Francisco Rodriguez Jr. And Francisco Rodriguez Jr., for those of you who don't know, you know, this guy was a former unified champion at minimum weight. This guy gave Chala Tito one of his tougher fights early, early in his career. You know, a, a really, really, really good fighter. And um, Ioka... You know, fresh off his win against, you know, last year they had the big Japanese super fight on, on New Year's Eve. Again, he, he he fought Kosai Tanaka in what was viewed to be a pick em fight. A lot of people were actually favoring Kosai Tanaka. I was favoring Kosai Tanaka. And he got the signature win of his career and he made Kosai Tanaka do cartwheels and just was beating the brakes off Kosai Tanaka. And Kosai Tanaka was on the fast track towards, you know, really becoming that next great Japanese fighter. And Ioka put a halt to that. So, you know, coming off that win to this fight, Rodriguez, Rodriguez was, was looked to be a fighter that was good, but a fighter that was at a more advanced stage of his career. He's already taken a couple of losses in his career. Ioka's in good form. So Ioka was supposed to blow this guy out, and a lot of people thought he was supposed to knock out Rodriguez Jr., but Rodriguez Jr. didn't get, Francisco Rodriguez Jr. didn't get the memo. You know, he went in there today, and he fought a, a brilliant fight, you know, particularly in those early rounds. Um, he was touching up. Ioka a lot, you know, with left hooks, straight right hands, you know, taking him, taking him to some real deep, dark, uncomfortable places. And Ioka got out to a bit of a slow start, but he grew into the fight. As the fight went along, you know, we started to see the 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 the, the, the subtleties, the boxing, the, the great things that Ioka does, um, from blocking punches in the high guard to pivoting around his opponents to setting up straight right hands of his own. And um, as the fight wore on, he got better and better and better. And, you know, his punches were, were were beginning to have more of an effect on Rodriguez as the fight went on. And I thought it, I thought it was just a, a really patient, really just uh, veteran savvy performance from Ioka, and it just it just adds to it adds to the to a resume for a guy that I really think at this stage of his career he's doing his best boxing now. You know, and if we look at his last. You know, three, four fights, you know, he beats Rodriguez this fight. He, he got a decision over Rodriguez. He beats Rodriguez this fight. The fight before that, he beat a guy that was a pound-for-pound -pound caliber fighter and Kosai Tanaka stopped him. And he had, Tanaka has been the same since. I don't, I don't even think Tanaka's boxed since he saw Ioka. Then, before that, he beat the undefeated uh, Javier Cintron. And then uh, then he had a win before that. And then before that, he had lost to Donnie Nietes. And then before he lost to Donnie Nietes, he had defeated Big Williams Arroyo. So, Ioka has just been one of boxing's quietly consistent fighters like one of boxing's quiet consistent fighters and a lot of people say oh well ioka is teetering right there on that pound for pound list bullshit he is definitely a pound for pound fighter when you consider what he's done against you know uh the creme de la creme of his weight class um outside of you know chocolate tito and estrada who he hasn't fought yet but i think he will in the future He's fought Tanaka. That was a big fight. Like people, people can write it off now, and people, people, people who are up in the boxing might not give him the credit for that win like they should. But that Tanaka fight was a, that was a big win. You know, Tanaka was already a three division champion. Tanaka was the fastest fighter in Japanese boxing history to win a world title. He had tied Lomachenko's record for the uh, uh, for being a three division champion in the least amount of fights. You know, Tanaka was really on the fast track. To doing some great things and Ioka put a stop to that real quickly so that will not be discounted that will not be underrated and that will not be taken for granted here on true school sports he is a pound for pound fighter because of his consistency because of you know what because of the weight class he fights in you know right now he's one of the top three fighters in, in, in my opinion one of boxing's premier weight classes one of the only weight classes in boxing where anything happens because at 115, it's not like these other weight classes where there's more money available um, and things like that. You know, these guys have to make the big fights happen if if they want to even just be relevant. So if the fights happen. Rung Versailles fights Charlotte Tito. Charlotte Tito fights Estrada. Estrada fights Rung Versailles. 
You know, Ioka fights Tanaka. Um, you know, Ioka fights Nietes. You know, these things happen at 115. So um, I don't. I think he's unquestionably a top 10 pound for pound fighter. I think he's unquestionably one of boxing's most consistent fighters. And you know, Ioka needs to have more respect put on his name. You know, Rodriguez Jr. Wasn't to stop like look that that's how you know Roman Gonzalez Chalatito is is one of the best fighters in history of boxing and that you know he's truly a special fighter because Rodriguez Jr. has been in there with them all he's 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 no spring chicken he's a very experienced fighter and a lot of people thought that Ioka was just gonna run through him and he didn't run through him he had a tough fight you know the judges scored at one sixteen one twelve on all their cards I actually had it a little bit closer I had at one fifteen one thirteen slightly favoring Ioka. And I wouldn't have even gone crazy if it was a draw, but I thought I, I thought Ioka, I, I thought Kazuto Ioka did more than enough to win. But that just shows you how great Chalatito is that he could run right through a guy like Rodriguez um, at an earlier stage of Rodriguez's career when Rodriguez was at his best weight. So it just goes to show you, you know, um, how great he is. But this ain't a video about him. This video is about giving the Japanese warrior Ioka his just due. You know, the the only you know the guy that stopped the Kosai Tanaka hype train, a guy that's quietly been one of boxing's most consistent performers. You know, the first fighter in the history of, of Japanese boxing, which is a long storied famed history. Um, the first fighter in the history of Japanese boxing to become a world champion in four different weight classes. I mean, Ko, um, Kazuda Ioka, one of boxing's true warriors. Nothing more we can say than that. But a uh, great, great win for him. You know, credit to uh, Francisco Rodriguez Jr. He shows once again why he is one of the one of the top Mexican warriors out there. You know, a fight that he was supposed to get blown out in. He goes in there and he damn near beats um, Ioka and still shows that he belongs at the top level. So a good fight. If you're a fan of the small weight class, it's definitely one that I recommend you guys watching. It's out there on YouTube, so go ahead and give it a watch. Give me your take on Kazuda Ioka. Where do you have him on the pound for pound list? Where do you have him in the in the in the in the Japanese pecking order of fighters? I mean, I, I mean, I know Anoe is number one. You know, you got like Ken Shiro and you got Kosai Tanaka, who he beat already. Let me know where you think he falls in the pecking order of the fighters at 115 and in Japanese boxing. You know, personally, I think right now. He's uh he's 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 one like he's one like signature went away from 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 really asking some serious problems of uh, Inoue and, and if he's truly the best fighter in Japanese boxing. But uh, right now I think he's got that number two spot down. Inoue is number one. You know you got uh yeah I, I would say he's number two to Inoue is number one. But yeah leave your comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. Like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys.